Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be bringing you my very first God of War guide on the PlayStation 4. And for this guide, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get missed echoes as fast and efficiently as possible. So certain things like which routes to take, what gear to run, and exactly what armor and special abilities you want to be using while hunting missed echoes. I'm going to be going over all of that here in this video, as well as how to unlock the area to grind these out. So this is pretty simple and in order to get started, you will need to visit the realm of Niflheim. So in order to unlock this realm, you will need to complete most of the story and unlock language tablets until eventually you find enough to travel to this realm. Now, what I did is I just grinded it through the entire story before even bothering to travel through other realms as I found it just be a little easier to do one realm at a time and not bounce around and have three realms started at the same time. So what I did is I just completed the entire story before even traveling here. Now you don't need to wait until the story is done as you will gain access way before the end of the story but what I did is I just waited so that way I was more powerful and it was just easier so I didn't get distracted with a bunch of side quests. Now whenever you're ready to travel here just head to the realm travel room and select into Niflheim on the table. From there you'll be teleported to the realm of fog and all you need to do is cross the bridge and you will be greeted by one of the dwarfs. Now I have been here for quite some time, so if this is your first time visiting here, the dwarf will have a side quest for you to go in and get 500 missed echoes. Now all you need to do is just clear out the first room and travel back to the dwarf, and at that point you'll unlock the full spectrum of this entire area. Until you finish that quest though, you'll be pretty confused and you won't really be able to unlock anything, so once you have 500 missed echoes, back to the dwarf, and at that point you can start working in Ivaldi's workshop. Now from here you can get missed stones to unlock chests, incredible armor and gear, and you can even get some pretty insane armor that heals you as you fight. Now in order to get this armor, you will need to grind through Ivaldi's workshop to get as many Mist Echoes as possible, as each upgrade costs about 2,000 Mist Echoes. Now there's also a ton of chests to open up in the back of the workshop, so I wanted to get started here and make this guide so you guys can get as many Mist Echoes as possible. So you'll have two options when you begin grinding mist stones, and one will be to spend them on all of these chests located at the top, and then you'll also have the option of going back to the dwarf and purchasing armor. Now I suggest that you hold off on purchasing the chests or even opening up any of these realm tears until you go back to the dwarf with around 5,000 mist echoes. Now if you go to the dwarf with roughly like 5,000, you'll actually be able to craft all of this armor, which will heal you as you fight, and will help you significantly when trying to get more mist echoes. So with this full set on, you can actually go in and equip three enchantments at a time on each of the armor pieces. So if you'd like to unlock things that will help you um, to grind out more mist echoes, each chest located in the back of Ivaldi's workshop will either have an artifact for you or a weapon upgrade, making Ivaldi's workshop easier and easier with every chest that you open. So if you'd like to survive the longest possible, you will want to run Ivaldi's gear as well as that first artifact which will make it so that you won't take as much damage from the mist. So you can last longer in the mist with that artifact, and on top of that, if you have Ivaldi's gear, you will slowly gain health back while fighting. So these two things combined will make it extremely easy to survive, and then on top of that, you can even go a step further. And you can actually get a piece of armor for your son. Now this piece of armor will actually give you a health stone enchantment, and what that does is makes it so that he can randomly find health stones for you and will heal you off random. Now that you have all of your gear and your enchantments set up, what you, all that's left to do is go into Evaldi's workshop and just open up chests. Now in order to open up chests, you will need to clear the entire area of all enemies before it allows you to open up the chest. So what I like to do is I go in and I just spam as many abilities and enchantments as I possibly can super fast, clear out the room, and I get the chest. Now from there I just go to the left. So the entire arena is a giant circle and I find it really easy not to get lost or to find the way to the exit if I just continuously go to the left. Now you do need to watch out as there's tons of traps in the areas located between each area. There's always going to be a trap. So what you like to do is just make sure you don't take any damage from those traps and then as soon as you get to the next area you want to just immediately start spamming all of your abilities. You want to spam your arrows, you want to spam all of your special attacks, and you just want to try to clear out that room as fast as you physically can. Now once the room is cleared out, you do need to find and loot all of the chests. Now sometimes there's going to be one, sometimes there's going to be like three, and each time that you open up a chest, you'll see that the bar at the top, which allows you to keep breathing, will slowly go up. Now in order to increase your time, all you need to do is just collect more chests. Each chest that you open is going to increase your time, and as soon as that bar gets to the bottom, you're going to start taking damage like crazy, and that's why you need to find the way to the exit in order to bank all of your missed echoes. 
Now, each time you come in here, it's going to be completely different. The enemies are going to be different, the paths are going to be different, even the traps are going to be different. And that's why it's very important not to get lost, which is why every time that I come in here, I just follow the same method and I go to the left. Now once I clear out that room, instead of backtracking or going back and banking on the like two or three hundred points, I always go deeper in and go to the left another set of rooms. Now even if the timer is low, it's okay because so long as it's not below half, you can always find another chest and that chest is going to put you back up to about 75%. So so long as you never drop below 50, I don't think it's ever really a, a reason to leave early. So there's only about four or five rooms that if you go around in a circle. Which is why I do suggest following my method and always going to the left or always going to the right. You know, pick whichever way you want to go, but don't ever go backwards because that's then how you're going to get lost and eventually you're going to just end up wasting time as well. Now, I can also suggest that you pick up a resurrection stone as if you die in here with any missed echoes, you're going to lose all of them. So, you do want to make sure that you have at least one resurrection stone on you. That way, in case you end up taking a bunch of damage or dying on accident, you won't have to actually lose all of your missed echoes and you can respawn and find the exit. So, on this run I ended up getting about 8,000 missed echoes by just running through to the left, and eventually if you keep going to the left you will find your way back to where you started. As I said before, it is pretty much a circle, so eventually if you just keep going to the left or keep going to the right, you're going to go right back to where you started, and you're never going to get lost or worry about banking your points, because you're eventually going to get there. So, I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this footage guys, this is pretty much every tip that I could have possibly given you on how to get missed echoes and how to survive inside of all these workshop as much as possible. Now there is also a Valkyrie located inside of Evaldi's workshop and I'm going to upload an entire separate video on how to kill that Valkyrie as that's an entire challenge in itself and is going to kind of just take away from how to grind out as many missed echoes as fast as you possibly can. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this guide on how to grind out as many missed echoes as you can. I'm going to leave this run playing as like I said before I got around eight or 9,000 missed echoes which is one of my best runs so far. I'm sure you could get about 20, even 25,000 missed echoes in one run if you were able to kill that Valkyrie, but I do want to upload a separate guide on that. So hopefully this did help you guys out to get as many missed echoes as possible. Please be sure to drop a like down below if it did, and subscribe for future God of War guides, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mist that goes up in one of those tears. Should we do it?